Hey guys, it's Yozagama here, and in today's video, I'm going to be trying to build the best sleeper car in Forza Horizon 4. So, let's get into it. Now, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel for my FH4 news and gameplay, then make sure you do. If you have subbed to my channel recently, you are awesome, and if you haven't, that would be greatly appreciated. Thanks. Alrighty, for today's video, I have actually worked out the car I want to use. Now, it kind of was difficult since there are not many very everyday vehicles in Forza. Most of them you really find are sports cars, supercars, big trucks, and most of them just aren't what you find normally on the streets. So, what I've found is something that is. We are going to Subaru for this one, and specifically, this 1990 Subaru Legacy RS. Now, I personally feel like this vehicle looks like the biggest sleeper in this game. It has an EJ20G turbo uh, boxer engine, and in the day, it actually wasn't that slow. This is specifically the RS model, but now, in today's standards, not as quick. What I'm going to be doing is making this thing stupidly fast with a very cool engine swap. And also, I'm not going to be doing any cosmetic mods whatsoever, apart from probably making it look even more stock. So let's get into this thing. Now when I was talking about getting more stock, there are actual body mods I can do that make it look even more plain. Let me show you. So for the front bumper, we have some fog lights at the bottom, but we can actually change it so there are none whatsoever. And actually, no chrome as you can see right here, which I think makes it look a bit more plain. When we come back to the wings, we can see that we can actually completely remove it, which looks like the standard legacy. We can't do anything with the side skirts because it adds some mud flaps and that is less than stock, makes it look like a rally car. And so with the hoods, we get these spotlights and other things as well, like a vent on the top and also an aerial. So for visual mods, that is what I'm doing. Now for engine swaps, you'll be able to see the insane stuff we can do. So stock, this thing has 162 kilowatt, 270 newton meters of torque. So not the fastest, but not the slowest. It's also full-time all-wheel drive with that rally pedigree. What I'm going to be looking at is a better engine, obviously. So the first one we can do is a two liter flat four turbo. I'm not going to be doing this one. We've got a 6.2 liter V8. I'm pretty sure this is an LS3, but I think we'll be going for something a little bit faster. We've also got this 2 liter flat 4 turbo rally, which is a higher output than the LS3, but I'm not sure if you can get it as maxed. And the last one is the 4 liter flat 6. Now, if you don't know what this is specifically from, it's a 2016 Porsche 911 GT3 RS. So, yeah, she's going to be quick. Now, I'm going to chuck this on and also install a fat turbo system. Oh, this is twin turbo. So, we are going to get some serious power. When it comes to wheels and tyres, I'm not going to be doing anything too crazy like lettering. It's going to be the race tyre compound. And that's it. I'll try and make the tyre width a little wider so we can get some better grip. But for the most part, it doesn't look much different side on. When it comes to wheels, we are not changing that or changing the stance in any way at all. It's staying like this. To the drivetrain, basically we are going to be maxing this thing out as usual, just so we can be as quick as possible. For brakes, we definitely need to max them out. I will be putting race suspension on this thing, but raising it back up so it doesn't look as low. For roll cage, we are going to be doing the sport roll cage because if we did the race one, you'd be able to see it and that's not what we're going for. We are definitely stripping this thing down, taking a ton of weight out of it and let's go to the engine. So far, we are at 447 kilowatt, which is insane in that rating. I'm just going to keep adding more on till we are at max. Okay, turbo time. Let's see what we can get this thing to. So 648 and 679. Oh god, and we still got the intercooler to do. What's that gonna be at? 716 kilowatt and 855 newton meters of torque. Okay, that's a fair bit of engine for this vehicle. And that is also that amount in horsepower. Yeah, for this car, quite good. Alrighty, we will apply these in and do some tuning. I'm going to see what we can do for gearing wise. Maybe we can make it a bit faster. It's usually 374. Mm, maybe, let's see if we can go higher. Maybe I'll try this. Will this work? Oh, no. So, basically, we want it at the max of the graph we can see in the bottom right, and that should be good. Oh, we can actually get a little bit more out of it. Where can we go before diminishing returns? Okay, so it seems like right there is the best we can get out of it in this current form. So, 0 to 100 in 2.36 seconds, and the top speed is 394 kilometers an hour, and that is that amount in miles an hour. 
alignment wise we're not really going to change too much we are going to actually heighten the springs back up maybe around there we'll see if that looks good and if it doesn't we'll go back to it damping wise brakes not going to do much 105 percent and actually i'm going to put the bias to the rear a little bit 65 percent there we go so i'm going to apply this and I'll see if I can actually do anything in the paint shop. Now, right now, this thing looks pretty damn plain. And I'm guessing any other color will actually make it look a bit more special. So, we're going to have to keep it white or gray. Okay, so, yeah, this gray actually makes it a little more unique. So, I think we're going to stick with the stock white. I'm also not going to tint the windows or anything because it gives it a bit of a better look. And we don't want that. Alrighty, since we have done everything we want to this car... Let's take it out for a spin and see how crazy it is. So here is my creation. That is pretty much the ultimate sleeper. Now, if you think there is a better car to make a sleeper in the game, put it down in the comments. I'd like to see what it is because I looked through the catalog of cars and I thought this was the best. Now let's give this thing a rev and hear what it sounds like first off. Oh boy, if I heard this thing in real life, I think I'd slightly crap myself. Well, I might as well just floor it into Edinburgh and see how this thing goes. See how silly this looks. Oh, brake, 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 car. Oh, this thing is definitely quicker than it looks. Now, it's funny, the stock engine in this thing actually didn't sound too bad, but obviously, we needed more power and it had to go. It would have been really cool if I was just able to hit the 1000 horsepower mark, but 960 is okay. But we'll live with that since this car obviously looks like this. Well, I think it's time to try a top speed run to see how fast this thing is because in the tuning, it could be incorrect. We'll see if we can get any higher. So the magical number we are looking for is 394. Hopefully we can do it, but we'll see if we can't. Also, this way especially isn't as good as coming the other way back, so we won't be able to reach an as good speed, but I'll give it a try later. I'm just wondering if the drag coefficient of this thing is going to hinder its top speed, but we'll have to see. Well, we are nearing 380. I have to lift off around this corner. Oh, this thing doesn't handle very well. Oh, God. Well, since we can't get a higher top speed than that on that route, I'm going to try it coming back down. So, let's give it a shot. Wow, this thing doesn't sound too bad in the tunnel either. Come on, we are nearly at 360. There we go. Alright, 370. Come on, what can we do now? 380? Yes, we can. Come on, downhill section. 387, 388. Oh, okay, so it looks like... The drag of this vehicle is holding us back. Now, it is a little bit of a bummer, but still, this thing does not look like it would do that sort of speed. I bet if you are really wanting to troll some people in the game, you could do it with this, because they'd see you in a Stocko Legacy, and then you just pull away from them in most cases. Now, I think I'm actually going to put this tune up and call it Sleeper Build. So if you do want to search that for the Legacy RS, then uh, do that and it will help me out. Alrighty guys, well I'm going to end it here. Thank you for watching. If you do want to see more from me, then make sure to subscribe. And I'll catch you in my next one. Peace.